Hello, thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to talk about the storehouses that Joseph had made in Egypt, and he filled them up with the surplus of food because there's something very interesting about those storehouses. So now listen to this in Genesis 4156, NASB. When the famine was spread over all the face of the earth, then Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold to the Egyptians, and the famine was severe in the land of Egypt. Okay, move on to Deuteronomy 28, 12. The Lord will open for you his good storehouses, the heavens, to give rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand, and you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. All right, let me tell you about what those storehouses have to do with you, the bride, that's still in the church, but in a little bit, you are going to be removed from the church and you're going to be taken up to heaven where God the Father and our groom is. Okay, so every day, our prophecy team, we study together online continually talking back and forth, percolating verses and trying to unpack them and follow bunny trails. And we finally had our first face-to-face -face retreat. It was just this last weekend. And so when Lynn arrived on Friday, she gets out of her car and even before unpacking her bags, she sits down and we start chit-chatting. Those of us who could come and be face-to-face, -face, it was such an exciting time. Well. The first thing she brought up was that Revelation 12 sign. You know, on September 23rd, in just a few months, it will be seven years since the Revelation 12 sign appeared as that constellation figure up in the sky. Okay, so every now and then, you know, we bring that up, many groups bring that up, and you know, we're trying to determine, wow, what, you know, what does the timing mean? You know, our channel, we already produced a video not too long ago talking about the purpose of it, but now we need to figure out the timing of it. What does it mean that that happened seven years ago? We all thought we were going to be raptured back then, but obviously, no. So anyway, Lynn brings that up and we just kind of, yeah, seven years, hmm. You know, we look around and none of us had anything to offer because we have not received any fresh revelation on that. So we started talking about other prophecies and going down each bunny trail and just for four days, from sunup to sundown, we had our Bibles on our laps and we we're percolating things. I mean, we took time off for meals and did a little shopping down in the village, of course. But for the most part, we were studying out many of these mysteries and trying to unpack them and connect them. And, and we didn't bring up the Revelation 12 sign again. We had so many other things that we were getting sorted out. And in fact, I'll be making subsequent videos with some of those percolations from our retreat. Okay, well, we were studying all the prophecies, like I said, other ones as the Holy Spirit led us and following their, the connections and the other verses in their context throughout the weekend. Well, at day four, we only had four days together. By day four, I got a revelation about the timing for the Revelation 12 sign. And it has to do with those storehouses that I was talking about. And I was thinking, man, we just have not been experiencing the seven years of feasting. You know, people are losing their jobs. A lot of people are getting sick from strokes and epileptic attacks and heart issues and, you know, just a lot of people are concerned about the future, and it's like, mm, this just isn't seeming like we're in a feasting mode. It's kind of like we're in famine mode almost. So I started thinking about then all the things the Holy Spirit had been revealing to us over the, our four days that our team had here together face to face and all this, being able to figure out things. And I told the Lord, man, it's almost as if you have opened up the storehouses of heaven. 
Oh, well then that got me thinking about Joseph's storehouses. Well then I got thinking for the last seven years since the Revelation 12 sign, God has opened up the storehouses and has been pouring out on the church, whether people are listening or not. We have been feasting on Bible prophecy. He has been pouring out understanding, knowledge, wisdom, what the prophecies mean. It's been in this time that, you know, our channel here has come to realize that the first fruits, the main harvest, and the gleanings represent three raptures. The pre-trib rapture of the bride, she goes up. The mid-trib rapture of the church, they go up. But the gleanings go sideways into the barn. Okay, so I'm realizing, oh my goodness, we have been experiencing seven years of feasting. Almost seven years. Again, whether Christians have been studying prophecy and receiving these insights or not, God has had the storehouses open. And those of us who have been coming to Messiah ben Joseph for these interpretations and trying to sort things together, we have been feasting. So, I want to ask you, could it be, I want to be very careful here, I'm just speculating, could it be that this September 23rd, any time between now and then, could the bride be going up pre-trib, and when that covenant is confirmed with the many, that's when the famine of accurate Bible prophecy interpretations end. The Holy Spirit is not going to be pouring it out on earth anymore because the bride who's been taking in Bible prophecy, learning, making incredible progress, like if you watch our videos here, we just keep popping out more and more understanding into just even obscure passages. Because you see, the book of Revelation is not a standalone book of prophecy. So this is why, you know, this channel, we study all 66 books of the Bible together as a unit. So could it be all of you who have been humble, repentant, having teachable hearts, really seeking to understand Bible prophecy, taking it into your vessel. When we're raptured pre-trib and we go up to heaven to be with the Father, we are the storehouses. Could it be all of you who have been really making sacrifices to learn Bible prophecy. We don't all teach it or learn it the same way, but for those who are teachable, we're trying to fit things together. So when we are taken up at pre-trib, the bride, we are the storehouses. So the two witnesses, the 144,000 Jews from the 12 tribes constituting the nation of Israel, they have to go to Messiah ben Joseph. They are going to come into a relationship with their brother, Jesus, Joseph, that they sold into slavery in Egypt. They're gonna have to come to Jesus and they're going to be learning the word from him. He's going to be opening up the storehouses. It will be the bride that will be teaching them, pouring out on them, raining down on them Bible prophecy so that they can wake up the sleepy Gentile church and together they will bring in the great white harvest and there will be a global influx of more people coming to receive Jesus as their savior than at any other time in history. And they will be 
tapping into the storehouse because the bride will be pouring out the manna, the hidden manna. She is the white stone that has a hidden name on it that no one knows but the white stone. <laughs> Could it be that once the seven years is over, the Holy Spirit will not be pouring out just randomly on the church or on mankind or making available Bible prophecy interpretations and guiding people to the truth. There will be a famine for that. The interpretations will stop. The help in studying Bible prophecy will stop. Where will the people get it? You know that the first thing a person is going to do when they, rec when they realize they've been left behind, they're going to study those seven letters, which are seven letters to the left behind church in Revelation. That's when they will become interested in Bible prophecy. Right now, the church at large is not interested. They call it confusing, which it is, and it's for a reason. God has obscured most of what is going to happen in those seven years and how those events land on his timeline. He's obscured that for a reason. It's a test to see who in his household will be studying prophecy to find out what's on his heart, what his plans are, what his end game is, what the purpose is for a pre-trib raptured group of people what his purpose is for a mid-trib raptured group of people, what his purpose is for a post-trib sideways rapture of the remnant, which is spoken of throughout the scriptures. The way the bride makes herself ready is by studying Bible prophecy. Only the bride is interested in what her ministry is going to be after the rapture. The church is not really that interested. They have the attitude that, well, if God wants to rapture me, he will, and when he wants to, whenever it is, pre-mid-post, he'll take care of me. All right, that's great. But the bride, she wants to know what's on the Father's heart, the purpose for these things, what he's thinking. Jesus learned all of it. So the bride, who is one with Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit, studying the scriptures, following the bunny trails, connecting the verses, prayerfully seeking the Father through the Word in the power of the Holy Spirit, she's the one who has made incredible progress these last seven years and has been gaining knowledge, understanding, and wisdom because she's going to need it and use it and pour it out on the left behind church once they start seeking the heart of the Father. All right, you are a storehouse. Continue studying Bible prophecy. Continue making the sacrifices necessary, taking the time necessary, quieting your life and changing your schedule so that you can continue to study the scriptures and be figuring these things out because God wants to use you in a powerful way. And this is you preparing yourself to be the bride. You are what is what God wants to use as a storehouse so that during those seven years of famine, during the seven year tribulation, anybody who is on earth seeking to know Christ, seeking to understand what's going to happen next, what they need to do, what they need to know, you are going to be making those answers and that provision available. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's making sense, but I'm thinking this is what the seven year sign since the Revelation 12 constellation, I'm thinking that's what this time has been for, for the bride to be studying prophecy, so that she has something to give her left behind loved ones, her family, her friends, her co-workers, her neighbors, so that she has something to give her loved ones 
when she's in hidden form in her raptured body, because Luke 20 verse 36 says that we will be like angels. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. We've got more amazing insights to give to you. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.